For 400,000 years, Neanderthals roamed Europe. Their territory spread from Western Europe to Central Asia. Neanderthals were well adapted to their environment, strong hunters and able to survive extreme climate fluctuations. Beyond the Altai lived the little known and mysterious Denisovans. Denisovan fossils were discovered in a cave in southern Siberia. DNA showed they were not Neanderthals, but an entirely different species. Both fossil evidence and DNA suggest Neanderthals and Denisovans are descended from Homo heidelbergensis. The two hominid species are estimated to have lived in Eurasia from 490,000 years ago to about 30,000 years ago. Jebel Urhud man from Morocco is generally accepted as the first Homo sapien 320,000 years ago. Herto man, another early Homo sapien discovered in Ethiopia, was dated to 180,000 years ago. Omo 1, discovered by Richard Leakey in Kenya in 1967, was originally believed to be from 180,000 years ago, it was redated to 230,000 years ago. The first evidence of early Homo sapiens leaving Africa came from Israel. Two fossil skulls were discovered at Kafsay in school. They were recently redated to 100,000 and 130,000 years ago. A third fossil, a jawbone found at Mislia Cave in Israel 2002, caused top paleoanthropologists such as Chris Stringer to rethink recent out of Africa hypothesis. Then scientists made a shocking find in Southern Europe that would forever alter the mapping of human origins. In 1978, a team of anthropologists from the Medical University in Athens were exploring a cave in Southern Greece. They discovered two hominin skulls embedded in the cave ceiling. One was in near perfect condition, the other one was a skull cap. They were given the names Epitoma 1 and 2. Epitoma is on the southern tip of Greece, directly south of Athens and Sparta. Researchers took radioactive decay trace amounts of uranium in the specimens to get an accurate date. The team was led by University of Tübingen professor Katarina Arvati. They did a re-examination of Epitoma 1 and 2. Epitoma 2 was found to be a basic Neanderthal. The results of the reanalysis shocked the researchers. Epitoma 1 was not a Neanderthal. The skull was of a Homo sapien. From the Natural History Museum, Epitoma 1 and 2 were initially dated to about 160,000 years ago, but there was always doubt about this figure. Arvati, Stringer, et al. released their findings in July of 2019 in Nature. Epitoma cave fossils provide earliest evidence of Homo sapiens in Europe. Quote, our findings support multiple dispersals of modern humans out of Africa and of modern human presence in Southeastern Europe, end quote.
As Dr. Harbati notes, Epitoma 1 has a rounded skull and no Neanderthal-like slope or bun on the back. Smithsonian Magazine described the find as a, quote, bombshell study. One skull, Epitoma 1, belonged to an early modern human that lived 210,000 years ago, the oldest Homo sapien fossil in Europe, end quote. Harvati, quote, we have some evidence that there was an ancient interbreeding event with the population related to the ancestors of modern humans. Could it be that this is what we are seeing? End quote. As chronicled extensively at this channel, modern Europeans have up to 6% Neanderthal DNA admixture. Sexual introgression with Neanderthals would put modern Europeans' lineage on the European continent back to 500,000 years. Quote, the Israel finds and Epitoma 1 tell us that our species expanded into other continents far earlier than previously thought. End quote. Professor Mina Weinstein, University of Haifa, Israel. 200,000 to 300,000 years of divergent evolution on entirely different continents now confirmed. Europeans are a separate and unique tribe of modern homo sapiens. Thank you for watching. This channel and our website, subspecies.com, represent the right side of paleoanthropology. Let us know what you think of the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. And we appreciate you hitting the like button. And please pass this video on to others. Thank you.